We are in Indianapolis, the state's capital, for this morning Class A state championship ball game that pits Borden Braves at 22 and 3 from Clark County in our broadcast area against Triton, a team that's 20 and 5. The Braves are the Class A state champions. They've done it. They've won it. They're the state champion. They're bringing a title back to Southern Indiana and the Clark County. Congratulations to Doc Nash. His team finishes atop the heap in Class A basketball in the Hoosier State. They've won it 55 to 50. How about them Braves? The situation probably would have created a public uprising in many American communities. On a Saturday in late March, the only coffee shop in town would be closed for the day. There'd be no lattes, no milkshakes, and no slices of apple pie available to the locals. But this potentially dire circumstance did not happen in a village in New York, or Iowa, or California. This tale occurred in a hamlet that rests in the foothills of southern Indiana. And it's a story about when the hamlet of Borden emptied out to attend a state high school basketball championship game in Indianapolis. You see, there was hardly a soul left in the town of just over 800. It seemed that everyone had locked their doors to journey two hours north. The owners and workers of my Cup Runneth Over coffee shop were among those in Banker's Life Fieldhouse on this history-making day. Life in Borden, um, for me, has been something pretty special. Uh, I think today uh, in our town celebration, I wanted to make sure that I got that point across to people and in our stands, because I know there's a lot of people here that are lifelong community members like myself that feel the same way. Small town, you know everybody, everybody knows you. Uh, you know, when you work in the corporation, you see the kids day in and day out. and It's just, it's family. Um, you can't help but hide back uh, or hide the emotion that's involved with trying to explain what this community means uh, to someone, and especially myself. Uh, I was a student here um, and came back here and was a teacher and now an athletic director. Uh, so I've spent my whole life here. 